everybody, welcome back to my channel. If today's your first time checking it out, my name is Taylor, and today I'm gonna be talking about the books I read in September and the books I hope to read now that it's spooky season. And yeah, before I get into those books, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell notification so you don't miss out on when I post. And now, without further ado, on to the video. <laughs> September I didn't read as many books as I wanted to and I also ended up changing what I read so I was only able to read four books out of the five books that I wanted to read so the first book is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. A brief synopsis in case you haven't read this book is that one of our main characters Malik has to kill the other main character in order to save his sister from a spirit that has taken her but the other main character has to try to kill someone who wins the competition, which Malik ends up entering. And she has to kill someone in that competition to use them and their heart in a ritual to bring back her dead mother. I know, kind of a bad explanation, but you know, yeah. I did a book review, so it's gonna be linked up there, so you should watch it, yeah. Okay, so I gave this book four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. My favorite things about the book were that it was just so vivid. Like, it was really vivid, okay? And then there were some plot twists where I was like, mm, I did not see that coming. And I like to not see plot twists coming. My only drawbacks were the relationship. Like, I don't know, I didn't really feel, you know, the emotions or like the quote unquote draw. I was like, dude, there's so many people in the sea, why? But anywho, that's beyond the point. So that's why I gave it four out of five stars. The next book I read this month was An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. This was my second time reading the book and I enjoyed it. Gave it four out of five stars. So brief synopsis if you haven't read this book. So basically we have two main characters. One is Leia and the other is Elias. That's what I'm going to call his character. So Leia is a scholar and um, Elias is a marshal and like some time ago the marshals took over the scholars and so the scholars are treated like second-class citizens and some of them are enslaved and so Leia has to go undercover as Elias's mother's enslaved person in order to get information to the resistance against the marshals yeah, yeah. So spy work, detective work, mystery, enemies to lovers, possibly. It's amazing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So I read that. The next book I read was Punching the Air by Ibi is a Boy and Yusuf Salam. Gave it five out of five stars. It was amazing. I loved it. Okay, now the one thing I will say though is I read it on my handy dandy like Samsung tablet and I would suggest probably reading it hardcover because there are a lot of images and I feel like the images would just, you know, coalesce better if it was in a hardcover version. A brief synopsis in case you don't know what Punching the Air is about. So basically we follow a young black Muslim boy who was falsely prosecuted of beating this white guy close to death. Um, yeah, that's what happens. But basically it's more of like a mental state it's a, it's a very mental book and very like examining of the self and the psyche so it's really good I enjoyed it and you shall enjoy it as well I believe and the last book that I read in September I actually wanted to read this book in October but because Libby had a copy available I was like I might as well read it now and that book is when no one is watching by Alyssa Cole Oh my gosh, she did what needed to be done. Five out of five stars. You know what, 12 out of five stars. Oh, iconic. So basically, it's like realistic thriller is like the way I'd like to describe it. It's basically gentrification meets get out is what a lot of people are calling it. But I mean like, yeah, it is crazy. You gotta read it, you gotta read it. I actually filmed a vlog of me reading that book. It's gonna come out on Halloween, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I don't wanna say that in case it doesn't, but you know, it'll probably come out on Halloween, probably, yeah or like the last week of October. It'll come out then-ish. Before I close out this month, I will say that in Ember in the Ashes and Punching the Air, I will have vlogs on both of those posted, hopefully by the end of October. And when that happens, I'm gonna link those vlogs in the description. So, yes. So now, without further ado, 
Let's get into the books I want to read in October. Okay, um, I, yeah, I'm definitely reaching. I'm definitely reaching for what I really can accomplish in October, but you know, we'll see what happens. So the first book I want to read is A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir, because I read the first book last month. I need to read this bad boy this month, so then I can read the third one next month, because the fourth book is coming out in December. Yes, yes. So, I'm gonna read this one. The next book I wanna read in October is Tower of Dawn. Okay, I know I planned on reading it in September, but every time I looked at it, I was like, do I really wanna read a book about this certain character when I could be reading a book with my faves? So, I'm gonna have to get through this because I can't get to Kingdom of Ash unless I get through this. I mean, a lot of people said that they like skip through it, but I don't really think that's what I'm supposed to do. Otherwise, Sarah J. Mass probably wouldn't have wrote it. I mean, something's gotta happen here. Something's gotta happen in here. And I know that a character that we saw in Assassin's Blade has to be in here. Okay, she has to be in here. So that's one good reason or one good thing I can look forward to in this book. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be enjoyable. It's just that I, I need to get back to my face. So, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. Yes. The next book I want to read in October is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. It is the second book in the Brown Sisters trilogy, even though they're not really quote unquote that connected. A brief synopsis, apparently about what's about. I like to go into books not knowing too much, but what I have gleaned is that basically it's, there's like some fake dating and like other stuff. And you know, Talia Hibbert did it, so I know it's gonna be amazing. So that's why I wanna read it. It's not really quote unquote spooky, but I wanna read it. Now this next part is probably not gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm saying this is what I wanna do, but I wanna read Vampire Academy, Frostbite, and Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. The first three books in the Vampire Academy series. I already read these and I loved them. I want to read them again. And I want to read them again so that I can read the next three and then I can reread the Bloodlines series. Yes. I don't know why. I just, actually I don't know why because I love this series. So I want to reread it. I'm going to reread it. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. We'll really see. Yeah. But brief synopsis in case you haven't heard of this bad boy is that basically we have uh, these friends their best friends one of them is a hamper and the other one is like a Maroi yes I haven't forgotten everything okay so and the Maroi that's like you know a full-fledged vampire but not like the crazy vampires and then there's like a hamper that's half vampire half human and so Rose is a hamper but the hampers are protectors of the Maroi from the Strigoi, who are like the really bad vampires. I'm starting to confuse you, I know I am, but basically, they've gotta fight the good fight to, you know, keep each other safe, basically. And the main character is amazing. So, I'm gonna read this. The next book I wanna read is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Okay, this is actual black girl magic. Once again, I don't know too much about it because I wanna go in not knowing too much, but basically, yes. It seems that the main character is like part of like this secret society that like descends from King Arthur or something. I don't know. It sounds exciting. It sounds very exciting. I really want to read it. And the last book I want to read in October, it probably won't happen, but it's From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I actually have no earthly idea what this is about, but I saw that Jennifer L. Armentrout wrote it, and that means I must read it. Because if you know me, you know I love me some Jennifer L. Armentrout. You know The Lux Chronicles is like my fave series of all time. So I have to read it. It's an impulse read, an impulse buy if you will. She is amazing. The stories she weaves are amazing. And also, ooh, ooh, this is getting so long. This is so unrealistic. I also need to read Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. I've heard so many good things about it. I have to read like Crescent City. I have to. Um, yeah. Taylor, why are you pretending like you are going to read all these books this month knowing good and happy well that you have all these exams? Okay, so that concludes the books I read in September and the books I plan on reading in October. 
we'll see how many I actually get through. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you read any of the books that I plan on reading. If you read any of the books that I did read, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And once again, you want to click that bell notification. So what? So you don't miss out on when I post. Now, all that's left to say is bye-bye.